I just wanted to ask you how this um, conception of conjectural knowledge versus reality applies to the multiverse um, interpretation of quantum mechanics, as in, is the particle that doesn't, uh, doesn't collapse or the collapse of the wave function that doesn't take place, is that now real in separate universes? And can you explain sort of simply to, to a layman what, that, what, what, what the reality of that looks like? Yes, well, um, I'm always slightly provoked when someone calls mm. that an interpretation of quantum mechanics because no one says that about about uh, the theory of evolution or, or uh, uh, other theories in physics. We we say we have a theory. We're, we're we're well aware that it might not be perfect, but it is our claim as to what reality is like. It's our it's our best claim as to what reality is like. In quantum mechanics, things have gone wrong, thanks to that bad philosophy that I spoke of earlier. Um, and the fact is that uh, there are experiments where one can show that individual quantum particles um, are strongly affected by something that is never seen. This is quite familiar in physics, even, even um, Newton... Uh, postulated invisible fields of force, not fields, uh, invisible yeah. forces um, that operated on the planets, even though one can never see a force, and never never perceive a force. And then in astronomy, um, in the early 20th century, we realized that, well, before that, we realized that, that the stars are things like the sun. They're not dots like they seem in the sky. They are, they are, spheres million kilometers across of, of uh, incandescent gas and, and, and so on. And then we found that our galaxy isn't the only one in the universe. And in quantum mechanics, we discovered that the, the world we see around us, everyday world we see around us or in the laboratory, the, the photon that we see is only one of many that are accompanying it. And they're all um, imperceptible to us, except in very specially contrived situations where they affect mm. the photon that we do see. So uh, that's the that's Everettian quantum mechanics, I'd rather, rather say, rather than um, an interpretation. There is only one interpretation, in my view, of quantum mechanics. In the interpret or the Everettian quantum mechanics, could you just explain, so what, um, by what virtue can we talk about the branches, uh, the various branches being different? Do the laws of physics apply differently within those branches? The laws of physics are the same, and, mm -hmm. and there, are, there are also, these laws also talk about interactions between the universes, which in everyday experience are too slight to notice, but in careful experiments, one can notice them. And the most amazing one you can do at mm. home with a laser pointer and a card with dot with holes in it, pin, make pinholes in it. You can see that when you pass light through a, a, a bunch of holes in the card, it makes a weird pattern, not the same mm. pattern as the holes, a, a, a completely different pattern. Um, and um, there are cases where, if you, if you look carefully, where if you oh, there. Are Places on the screen, on the wall, where you're shining this, where if you open an additional hole, that place goes dark. And so that's called interference. The, the photons that would have arrived there have been interfered with. And then interfered with by what? Well, you can also do this not at home, but you'll have to believe me about this part. Um, if you do it with individual photons... Um, you know, going through blip, blip, and, and then not projected onto a screen, but, but captured by photomultipliers, which are sensitive enough to detect individual photons, you will see that exactly the same is true for single photons. So what has interfered with them? Well, it doesn't matter what we call it, but whatever it is, obeys the same equations as photons. You can, you can reflect it off mirrors, you can... Um, slow it down with with the uh, glass, um, uh, and it it behaves exactly like um, a photon that we do see. And uh, what's more, the equations describe it, describing it, say that that's what what it will do. And so it, 
that's the prototype argument by which we build up into saying that actually the whole world is like that. 